Technology also has expanded our ability to get far more information. So this segment is going to talk about where we are in our practice today about that inform information technology phase in our office. One of the new instruments we've purchased is Serona's Orthophos XG. This instrument allows us digitally to capture so much more detail and understand so much more of what the patient presents with. I'll give you a few examples. In addition to now using a digital pan in replacing traditional full mouth series of x-rays, and that's what we're doing currently, what it also allows us to do is use it as a digital CEPH. It also allows us to use it in a TMJ mode to do posterior, anterior imaging, lateral imaging of the TMJ. We can now image the sinuses. And what we're also gonna do for John today is we're gonna do some transverse images for potential implant sites that we're looking into versus traditional, of course, bridge work. What we're gonna to try to combine in our patient presentation then is capturing those digital images today, then combining them in Medvisor's new program, which will be Medvisor 4. It allows us all to now do what I call a custom presentation. So the patient actually now can look, see and feel what our goal is to be. In John's case, it could be implants, ortho, but what we're trying to do is avoid the repeating failure of a lot of the previous work that was done on him. And with that, we just need more information. So we're gonna start first with a digital pan and some transverse imaging. And what we're going to do is we're actually gonna place five millimeter BB balls right next to the areas where we wanna place our implants. And we're gonna get some ideas as far as bone width and what we have available to us. Initially, when John came in, the first phase of his treatment was to do what I call immediate primary care. Immediate primary care in his mouth involved an extraction, multiple temporary bridges, place that will be long-term temporary bridges, and just trying to get him stabilized. So our, our thought process is let's get him at least temporarily stable, remove all the what I would call immediate potential infections and potential deep caries issues and move forward from there. So at this point, John has a, open wide for me, he has a one, two, three, a five unit Radica, which is a new temporary material made by Densply, a Radica temporary bridge, which we'll zoom in on, on the lower right area. And again, it's a long-term provisional material that's been shown to have incredible hardness and wear resistance. So we can literally have that kind of temporary bridge in there for one to two years, and I'd feel very comfortable about that. Um, in other areas, he's already been provisionalized also. So at this point, we're gonna place a couple little BBs next to the potential implant sites. Okay, and I don't want you to feel any pain whatsoever. Okay, I'm just gonna use your lip just to stabilize. What we're using right now are five millimeter index BB balls, literally, with just some wax that we just basically placed over each pontic area that he has, either temporary or permanent bridges already in place. And from here, we're gonna walk over and do both a pan shot digital and some transverse imaging. One of the highlights of using a digital pan CEPH in our practices is right now we're converting to four digital bite wings through the Kodak, and now using the Serona as replacing our FMX. So our digital pan CEPH literally has replaced our FMX and how we evaluate our patients radiographically. So this is the kind of image that you can get instantly while the patient is there.